Good morning, everyone. I'm Yijiang from <coughs> HIT, uh, Harbin Institute of Technology. Uh, today, I will present uh, our work on the Indian routing scalability problem. And uh, this work is done with a uh, collaboration with uh, ITU and uh, UCLA. So our motivation is to want to clarify some misunderstandings on this uh, architecture transformation from IP to NDN uh, on routing scalability. <coughs> well, most people, some people think that this are very similar. Just uh, change the name from IP address to this name. And then some others think that it's a fundamental difference. So you need a totally different routing system for NDN. Do you want, do you want to clarify actually what will change the for NDN uh, on routing scalability and uh, what that, what that not? <coughs> so the overlap of uh, my presentation is the first. I will give a brief introduction to NDN, and second, I will make some clarifications on basic concepts, and some terminology, and uh, about the concept of location dependence on independence. <coughs> the third part, I will introduce, uh, I will describe what the dot now change. So basically, just for routing, there are no much difference between IP and NDN. So we can use some lessons learned from IP scalability problem uh, to NDN. <coughs> and at last, I will give an overview on um, this was new for NDN. <coughs> so include, uh, including three parts. Uh, one is uh, how to use this called uh, body kit to implement a uh, mapping based solution. And then I will give uh, <coughs> an introduce Introduction to this treating based solution, uh, including self learning routing and the cat. And then I will introduce the state radio <coughs> concept. So, first, uh, when we do this web browsing in IP, uh, the client got uh, the URL <coughs> and needs DNS to translate this uh, name to IP address. And, uh, by routing, we feed the same with the, the IP prefix. <coughs> and when all of this are done, then we can send the packet to the destination <coughs> through the forwarding. Uh, in the ending, we do some changes. First, we directly use the name for routing and forwarding. So we, can do, we don't need DNS, so, and uh, the routing can directly and feed the fable with the data name prefix. <coughs> and then we can do similar with the routing um, by using a fable. So we can see there is no much difference for the concept of uh, forwarding and routing. <coughs> so so um, many people think that the data name and the, the IP address are fundamentally different for routing, but actually it's not true <coughs> because we think that all uh, ID names are IP address or identifier to identify something. <coughs> but the difference is uh, whether this uh, name can be directly used for forwarding. <coughs> if it's yes, then we can call it uh, address location or locator. So if, if not, we need some need the base mapping method to to build a bridge from this name to the location. <coughs> so here I want to say that all address and the name have no difference for identify in something. <coughs> but difference is on whether it's a user directly user for it. And the second uh, part, I want to clarify what's the location dependence. <coughs> uh, many people label the NDN location independent. So they doesn't uh, <coughs> have a relationship with the actual location. But that's also not true, not completely true. 
So whether it's a location dependent or not, it's determined by how you use the name, or how name something. <coughs> and then it's related to how you do routing. <coughs> so for example, uh, in NTM, when we use the name prefix like uh, UCLA, we don't mean UCLA can uh, on anywhere on planet. We mean that must be in some fixed uh, location. And also in uh, in terms of uh, network of topology, it's on um, the same location. So the, this slash user won't be a location independent. It's a location dependent. <coughs> but the people also think of the IP address is a location dependent, but it's also not true. <coughs> For example, <coughs> in a worker from I think from Boeing, you <coughs> to get a reachability to the R plan. <coughs> So they just uh, announce the prefix from our plan, from the anywhere from the plan. So it's a location independent. So it doesn't with the uh, architecture. It's a location <coughs> dependent or, or independent. It's about how to use the name. So the actual problem is how do you reach uh, those prefixes? Uh, in a scalable way. <coughs> so the people, why people have concerns about the interrupting development. <coughs> First, I want to say you don't need uh, some uh, special concerns because IP and the ND uh, shares a similar concern about routing scalability. <coughs> and uh, if we want, uh, we want to say some difference, we think that it's uh, on the, the side of the space. Uh, in IP address, you have the fixed length of the uh, IP address. <coughs> but in any in theory, you, you can have any length of a uh, different name. <coughs> the second thing is, uh, <coughs> so uh, in IP, so the ISP will have some concerns on how run this BJP. Uh, so they will have a limit of uh, longest uh, prefix, such as slash 24. But uh, now we have, don't have this how long uh, NDA name can be announced into the global routing plan. <coughs> so we think uh, uh, if we want to uh, salute uh, the issue with the uh, Routing scalability, we can learn something from the IP solutions. <coughs> there are two solutions, two, two kinds of solutions. First, we call the locator identifier separation. And uh, for now, we don't think it's the uh, right way because it's basically they are the two sep uh, totally separate namespace, one for called the ID and another for the location. So that uh, you build uh, uh, DNS so the name of the space over the IP address. <coughs> Another direction is uh, how the provider user uh, address space separation. So it's uh, the same uh, name space, but uh, you chose <coughs> uh, which name you announced into the routing plan and uh, which is not announced. So for those uh, doesn't uh, move on the such as the provider namespace, you can announce it to the global routing plan. And for the ag path, the user address space, uh, you can do some mapping. <coughs> so we want to uh, describe actually what's changed in ENT. So it includes three parts. First, uh, ENT, we can run some new routing protocol, which is not uh, feasible for IP. The second, uh, <coughs> we can got some new solutions uh, in existing solutions of this, uh, um, mainly for this mapping solution. And the third is uh, we also have some new solutions of this. So first, <coughs> so why we can run some new uh, routing protocol in NT? The reason is that 
this volume graph. So we all know NDA uses this metaphor volume graph to get data back to the consumer. So actually, on the, the record, uh, every forwarding operation of uh, interest. So basically, there is no, so we can make sure the interest will go uh, past without the loop. So uh, use this uh, feature, so the when you run a routing protocol in engine, you can free from the short term trends and you can reduce the update cost. So there are two uh, references. <coughs> the second is uh, when uh, we use this state for falling plan, so we can make sure this uh, falling is loop free. So we can run some routing protocol like a hyperbolic routing. The reason we cannot run this uh, EIP is because this uh, geometric routing always, so you cannot make sure there are no local minimum. <coughs> so the packet will be tracked uh, in a location. But in NDN, you can try every way, so there are, you don't have such problem. <coughs> And for this uh, new solution, the uh, new solution to this, they include three parts. First is uh, we have new solutions for mapping based solution. <coughs> they use the following things. Second is uh, we have new solutions based, based on the foreign state for foreign plan. So including this uh, consumer mobility and the self learning routing on the time. The third part is the uh, new solution space we call the data. Let me so we want to uh, introduce a concept called data depot. First is the mapping based solution. We have this uh, called secure of the uh, name mapping protocol. So basically we, we will run a mapping service, a secure mapping service. And uh, in global routing uh, Run. We only announce this slash new CLA, and we don't need to announce this slash Alice. So when consumer want to reach the Alice, so just send a, a, a query to this mapping service, and then we will return some following things such as new uh, CLA and HIT, and the consumer can choose one of them, such as new CLA, and send a packet to into the network. And the network will use these two uh, ID, the data name and the foreign team, to forward the uh, interest. And finally, reach the uh, UCLA, and the UCLA will figure out how to reach the area. So this uh, the idea is the uh, same with this uh, provider user address space separation. <coughs> Second is a tracing based solution. Uh, so, we all know uh, NDA uses a uh, state volume plan to reach the consumer. And when consumer send the interest to a producer, and the, after that, the consumer moves to another location, and they reach the other location, the consumer can send a new interest to producer and get it back. So, the consumer mobility. So you can see here uh, in global routing plan, there are no any names or, or ID for consumer. So the only state in uh, the network is uh, these two traces. <coughs> so, so we can reduce this routing availability problem. Second, we call the self learning. So here we can see all save is empty. But when the consumer wants to reach a producer, they just send an interest, a flood of interest into the network. Maybe they're very lucky for this consumer, and the first interest may be reached Alice. And Alice will reply with the data. And when the data comes back, the forwarders along the path. Will update their face. 
and then in other routers, uh, folders, you don't need update uh, field. So the this uh, state is not uh, global, it's uh, only along the tree. The second, uh, 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 the third is called cat. It's a uh, scheme for reducing mobility. So uh, the consumer wants to reach the uh, UCLA Alice, but the UCLA Alice is a mobile producer, it can be in anywhere. So we introduce this RB to any new service. And uh, Alice will send a uh, country's interest to this uh, RV, and RV will send uh, this file. So this uh, two, this uh, interest data exchange will set up thing uh, along the trees. And when consumer want to reach the last user and the last Alice, will send uh, this interest. This interest will first reach the RV, and uh, from there to reach slash uh, user slash Alice. So you can see the slash US and slash Alice only uh, available along the trees, not globally. <coughs> the last uh, we want to introduce this concept called the new is similar to today's uh, Facebook uh, and uh, Dropbox. So actually, uh, although we use the uh, mobile phone, but we don't use the phone to directly publish our photos or messages. We update to uh, call the people. So the producer can update, upload this to depot, and from there we can got this. So uh, this is our conversions. The first, um, the routing scalability issue is not too special for uh, it's not a new problem. It's also uh, how issues with the uh, IP, <coughs> and uh, we can use this. Uh, Similar solution for IP uh, to ND called uh, SNAP. And we also can have some new solutions to this, such as this tracing and uh, this group. And that's all. Thank you. Well, I guess it's a, it's a very good comparison of uh, routing uh, ideas. Uh, are you doing any uh, con Quantitative comparison of those uh, different strategies. Yes, they, so in, uh, in each paper, how can it's permanent? And uh, we didn't have done this, like uh, compare all of them together. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a specific suggestion? What kind of quantitative comparison? I don't know. <laughs> I have just a big idea, you know. But uh, eventually, we, we need to narrow down what would be the best for for this configuration at the end. So uh, sometimes in the future we need to do more something that you would talk about. Thanks again. This picture